Hello, my beautiful brothers and sisters in Christ. I hope that you're all doing well. Um, there are th some things that the Lord is putting on my heart that He wants me to share. So, Lord, I just pray that you will be here with me and you will speak through me. Let your will be done. And your words, uh, they will not be in vain and that you will move through me and say exactly what you need your people to hear right now. Whatever it is, we are ready to hear. We are ready for your instructions and your guidance. We love you. We thank you for everything you've done and all that you will do. You are wonderful and you're mighty. And whatever blessing you have spoken over your people, I pray that you know they will receive it and they will take back um, what the Lord has stolen from them and they will walk in your obedience and in your uh, precious light. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen. Um, yeah, so, you know, as we know, you know, you, the time is short, but you know, what the Lord truly wants right now is to bless his people. And, you know, what he's calling us to do right now is to be obedient to his instructions. Because, you know, like in, he gave me this words in, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, that Deuteronomy 28. And this is the first verse. If you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all his commandments, I give you today. The Lord your God will set you high above all the nations on earth. All these blessings will come on you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God. Um, so, you know, the Lord, he sees the bigger picture. He sees the future. He knows exactly what you need. He knows exactly what needs to be done. So whatever instruction he's giving you right now, please follow him and don't delay because you know only blessings will follow through you know all the promises that he has promised you you know he will not go back on his words he he is faithful god he you know if he has spoken something over your life he will give it to you he hears your prayers he is working on your prayers he is working day and night you know for everything for you you know um so please Whatever it is, if it's just small, if it's just like he's asking you to um, work on your prayer life or he's uh, leading you to fast or he's leading you to do something for him. Whatever it is, you know, bigger or small, you know, just heed his instructions. It will be worth it. You know, the Lord knows what he's doing. He loves you so much. He disciplines those he loves. He needs to discipline us. And but it's all, always for our benefit. And so we can always trust in the Lord. We can always trust in the Lord. And, you know, I can testify that. There have been many times where Jesus has asking me to do something that I was just like, no, I don't want to. I don't want to let go of this thing. Or I don't want to do that. Or I didn't understand. I was just like, if you know me, God, why would you take this away from me? But, you know, but then he gave me, after I give it away, gave it away he gave me it back when i was ready and he blessed me abundantly he showed me that you know there were reasons why he took all these things away from my life and why he did this and all that i knew it later on you know and i could see that the lord is faithful and he was you know working really working on me and it was all for my benefit you know and there have been a lot of lot of examples where, when I just trusted in the Lord and he just you know he 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 will never fail us he will never fail us and uh, so we can be sure that you know we can trust in his instructions and we can heed his warnings and you know he loves us so much and he is there for us you know he's not against us he's not uh, striking against us or um you know um leaving us alone in the desert no he's with us and he will make death he will make uh waters in the desert he will always make a way he um we're, we're not alone you know he's with us it's good to know that he is with us and you know uh, we can be sure that he's a good god he's a faithful god and you know there's no lie in him you know there's only truth in god and uh, so just applauding you to do what the lord is asking you to do 
it will be worth it uh, and all those things you know they that the lord is asking you to do they are eternal you know they will never go away um um but you know when we try to find peace and we try to find joy and comfort in this world it's temporal you know we you know we we look at things in the world and they, they might give us joy for a short period of time but then it fades away and then we look for another thing and another thing and we're always trying to fill up this void but it's not eternal you know um, but the Lord will give you the fullness of joy he will give you abundant peace abundant love that you cannot find in this world and it will be eternal it will be written it will be a treasure in heaven and you know you will never forget those moments when you you know whatever uh, you did for the lord when you didn't give up and when you um you kept on seeking the lord and going after his promises and you you um you listened to god you didn't ignore him you you followed and you you went after his ways and his will and you know it's, this is always a process you know we we can never just stop and say like i've done enough you know you, you want to you're hungry for christ you want to get to know him more you want to um follow in his footsteps and you know we can always look at the life of christ and how he you know he had to do some bold things and um you know but he, he was obedient. He was obedient to the Lord's um, instructions. He, he trusted in God. He knew that it will um, be good. Uh, so, you know, he... And, you, you know, just that he... He died on the cross for our sins. That is the reason why we can even have a, you know, relationship with God. Why we even can have eternal life it's all glory to him you know um so jesus he's he's wonderful um and he should be our um we should look up to christ and follow his ways be in the light walk in the light as he's in the light um yeah and there was one thing that the Lord want, wanted me to talk about, uh, and I have talked about it before. It's in it's the parable of the ten virgins, and you know, yesterday I was, or two days ago, I was cleaning my house, and because you know we are moving to a new house, and I knew that the real estate agent was going to come um, the day after so I was but you know I I didn't wake up very early I woke up like around 11 and and I was kind of lazy uh, to start uh, cleaning but I knew that I had one day other so I had two days you know uh, but then, you know, my mom said, you know, uh, no, he's he's coming tonight or later that day. And I was like, really? Then I was like, oh, and then I was trying to hurry uh, to clean. But, but then uh, we had one day more, so I had enough time to clean everything. But this just reminded me of the parable of the convergence because, you know, we as you know they all slumbered and slept um you know it says at that time the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom five of them were foolish and five were wise the foolish one took their lamps but did not take any oil with them the wise ones however took oil and jars along with their lamps the bridegroom was a long time in coming and they all became drowsy and fell asleep at midnight they 
uh, the cry rang out, Here's the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all the virgins woke up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, your lamps, our lamps have gone, gone out. No, they replied, they may not be enough for both us and you. Instead, go to those who sell oil and buy, buy some for yourselves. But while they were on the way to buy their oil, the bridegroom arrived. The virgins who were ready went in with him to the wedding banquet, and the door was shut. Later, the others also came. Lord, Lord, they said, open the doors for us. But he replied, truly, I tell you, I do not know you. Therefore, keep watch, because you do not know the day or the hour. So, um, yeah, this reminded me of that, because, you know, um, we don't know the day or the hour. So, you know, when I was cleaning the house, and I knew that the real estate man agent was going to take pictures of my house, um, then, you know... I knew that I had two days, so I was kind of slumbered the first day. I didn't, I wasn't so, you know, quick or in a hurry to clean everything. But then my mom said like, oh, he's coming tonight. And I was like, oh. and that is what happened, you know, with the, the 10 virgins, you know, the midnight cry came and they didn't have oil in the lamps. And and they were in panic, you know, asking, oh, can I have oil in your lamps? Uh, but nobody gave them oil and they had to uh, go and buy one themselves. But that was just, that was too late, you know. Um, so this teaches us that we need to always be alert. We need to always expect Jesus to return. And I know there's a spirit of delay, but I just cast it out down to the pit right now in jesus mighty name uh, don't delay to prepare for jesus this is serious um you know we don't know the day or the hour we don't know we need to be ready at all times um so therefore keep watch because you do not know the day or the hour this is a warning for us and this is, you know, what happened to me. This just reminded me on that. You know, we can't be slumber. We can't sleep right now. We need to be awake. We need to be alert. Uh, but focus on your relationship with God um, right now. Uh, don't be so worried about when Jesus is returning. We know he's coming soon. But just focus on your relationship with God. And, you know, he has abundant blessings for you. Uh, but you need to be obedient to his instructions so that you can receive those blessings that he has for you that he is giving you freely you're n so you're not working for them but you are you are in a position you're in the right position to receive them you are surrounded you are focused on him and so you know that is you need to be in the right place to receive the blessings and that is what he's calling us to do right now and um, so just be blessed and keep looking up for our, de uh, our redemption draft night uh, and just yeah rejoice i see you soon bye bye